hello hello so happy to see you on my channel so dear friends my name is Ksenia and I'm your personal Russian language teacher so dear friends but Valentine's Day is coming how do you feel about this day do you feel happy dear friends I believe that many of us in this day feel a little bit under pressure those who have a partner feel like they have to show somehow the love that they have and those who doesn't have a partner feel a bit lonely this day dear friends i really hope that you don't have those some of those feeling and your valentine's day would be great but dear friends i'd like to talk with you about following you know, in Russian culture, there are some people who no, don't like this holiday, don't like Valentine's Day. And the reason why it's so, people say that they don't understand this holiday, that it's not like our holiday, it's holiday not from our culture. And those people say, that it would be better if Russian people would celebrate Russian holidays. And the idea is that we should celebrate holiday of two saint person. It's Peter and Fevronia. It's two beloved ones whose example is a perfect one for the people who want to make a family. So, dear friends, today I want to tell you this story about Peter and Fevronia, and we will rate together if their story good enough. So, we would cancel 14th February and choose their date to celebrate the day of love. Hmm? So, dear friends, the story will be following. There was a king named Peter. And this Peter one day fought it with an evil snake. And he won in this fight. But next day, he woke up feeling sick. And Peter realized that all his body is covered with ulcers. So his servant tried to find a doctor who, would, who could cure the king. But actually none of doctors could help. And then servants found a girl that also could cure people. And this girl was Fevronia. She was just a farmer's daughter. So servant, Peter's servant came to her and asked for help. Fevronia agreed to help, but she said that she would help Peter if she would become his wife. So Peter was surprised by the decision of the Fevronia, but you know when the person is already ready to pass away he doesn't think too much about the decisions and he agreed to take Fevronia as his wife and then Fevronia gave Peter medicine that really helped him and already for another day Peter felt much better and when Peter recovered, he decided that for this poor girl would be enough if he would just pay her. And he can take his words back because, of course, he is a king, she is a farmer's daughter, so he didn't want to marry her. It's not appropriate wife for a king. But after those thoughts, Peter starts feeling bad again. And that is why he decided to come to Fevronia. And he said, All right, dear Fevronia, 
I will marry you. But if you will take this small ball of threads and will sew a towel, pants and jacket for me, if you will do this, I will become your husband. So, dear friends, and what Fivronia answered is, she said, All right, dear king, I will do this if you will make a loom from this small stick. This is how Peter understood that he cannot change already Fivronia's thoughts and that she is also very stubborn and he decided that yes he will marry her because he wanted to recover so they get married and it seems like everyone was happy about this fivronia and peter fall in love but when peter came to the palace with his new wife his advisors didn't like her. So advisors came to Peter and said, Dear Peter, could you please kick off this farmer's daughter from the palace? We don't like this lady at all. And our strong king said, Ask my wife if she would agree, I would agree as well. No, you know, dear friends, he's just a king, so what do we want from him, right? So, advisors decided the same and came to Fivronia and asked her to leave the palace. Fivronia once again agreed, but she said, All right, I will leave your palace. If you would agree, then I would take something with me. They were happy that Fivronia is such an easy person to communicate and they agree. So they ask, what does she want? And Fivronia said, I will go away with my husband, so I will take Peter with me. Advisors were even more happy, I guess. Everyone already was fed, fed up with this Peter and his decisions. Okay, I'm joking. So those advisors were happy about Peter leaving because they also wanted to get this power. They wanted to rule kingdom as Peter did, yes? So they were happy about this decision. So both king and queen left the palace. So firstly, Peter was very worried about this decision because he didn't know what future waits his lands, his people without him. But Fivronia tried really support him and calm down Peter. So he realized that everything is going as it's supposed to be and like God will provide everything and everything will be good. And your friends, the decision came quite fast because after Peter left kingdom, there comes a full chaos and after some time servants and people start looking for peter and wanted him to come back so peter agreed to become again a king he took his wife fivronia with him and after some time they even got some children and they lived happily but in the end of their lives, both of them decided to become monks and already lived separately as a servants of God. But they decided that if one of them will pass away, another will do the same. And actually it happened so, so in the same time death came to them so at the sky they could be together so dear friends such a story for us to discuss and of course dear friends from 21st century some situation of the story seems a little bit fun to hear for example this king peter who couldn't make any decisions and didn't want to control anything in his life 
or dear friend this Fivronia, right? Who seems a little bit like a gold digger because she found a wealthy man, she found a way how to push him to marry her and Peter really depended on her because her, his house was in her hands. So yeah, but dear friends, if we will throw away these thoughts, yeah, from 21st century and we'll take some moments of the story, I think it's interesting to discuss and we may even learn from it something. So for example, I really like that in this story, I guess you will agree, we see a very powerful woman. So imagine a farmer girl meets a king but she's not afraid to answer him. She's not afraid to disagree with him because she kind of see a value of herself and she talks to him not as a farmer girl with the king, but she speaks with him, with him like woman and man. And that is why she made, this is how she made their relationship equal. And I guess it's a good life hack, yeah? If you want to communicate with person and you feel that this person is kind of better than you, find uh, some moments where you are equal and speak from this point of view. So dear friends, and also in this story is important that our lady Fivronia is not afraid to argue with king, but she looks at him not as a king, but at her, but as her partner. And I guess she understood that she wants to be with this man. So she wanted that their relationship would be appropriate for her. And that's why she was ready to argue with him to get the solution. And dear friends, I guess in relationship, we should not really should be afraid on conflict because if both persons understand the value of relationship and know that they want to be together and that's important if both partners understand this then conflict in this conflict they may get only solution and this conflict will, will only help you to go through the tough situation but if you will keep everything inside it won't it won't go anywhere anywhere and i guess in those situations there are much more possibilities to break up than to build some healthy relationship so your friends and the last situation that i want to discuss is that situation when peter and Fivronia left palace so firstly of course we see how partners support each other in in difficult situation that's one thing but another thing is that peter was ready to left his palace imagine how much money is that <laughs> he was ready to left his palace because of fivronia let's not think that peter just was a bad king but let's discuss from another point here dear friends we may see a lesson of values so if you value your relationship higher than other spheres of your life sometimes i guess you should be ready to sacrifice to sacrifice with something because of your relationship it sounds kind of wrong especially 21st century when we tried you know to to get everything in our life love money good job uh, a lot of subscribers <laughs> and so on yes when we try to get successful in any spheres of our life but actually dear friends we should remember about balance and there could there should not be like situation when you that everything is important in your life that your hobby your friendship your love relationship your uh, i don't know job is the same important for you 
there should be some aspects that are more or less important. And when you understand your personal values, yes, then you may understand what you may give for those values. And sometimes it might be even a kingdom for your beloved one, as Peter did. I think that this idea is really not popular right now. We have the idea that we shouldn't sacrifice anything right now, but I guess in life it's not really possible. We still still need to choose where we need to focus and we can't be focused on everything. And this is the idea that sometimes we need to choose where we go and what we want to get. And if it's your partner, if it's your family, then you make specific choices. But to decide what's important in your life can only you, dear friends. So, your friends, such a story for us to discuss. While I'll be t I was talking about this story, you kind of understood my ideas about relationship and what I found important to make good relationship. And, your friends, I'm really interested to know what do you think? What do you think makes relationship better? What helps to grow in relationship and not to break up. What do you think, dear friends? Of course, you also may share your thoughts about Peter and Fivronia. What do you think? Are they ideal pair that we should take as an example or not? What do you think? Do they deserve to cancel Valentine's Day? <laughs> so we would celebrate only their special day and your friends of course in the end of this video as usual i want to say that i love you very much so that's why i hope that we will see each other very soon and what for so i could really russian you dear friends love you stay safe on your valentine's day love you and your friends bye bye